Hola, bienvenidos nuevamente en el marco de entrevistas Aqua Expo. Hoy contamos con la presencia del conferencista internacional Manok Sharma, quien viene desde India. Es PhD en ciencias pesqueras y tiene más de 28 años de trayectoria en el campo de la cría de camarones en Surat, Gujarat. Actualmente tiene un papel importante en el desarrollo de la sostenibilidad acuícola. Desarrolló además el concepto de cultivo satelital de camarones que ha traído un aumento en la producción. Esta entrevista la realizaremos en inglés. Manok, what is the topic of your conference? Uh, I'm going to talk uh, uh, what Ecuador ocean farmers should not do because uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I've got a very good uh, fond memories about uh, CNA because I remember in 2013, Yahira, she invited me what shrimp farmers of Ecuador should do to increase the production. Okay. And I have seen that from 70,000 ton, now Ecuador is world leader producing 1 million ton and India is also producing close to 1 million ton. So I find very good, you know, that whatever 32 years I've been learning as a farmer, So I could really guide the Ecuadorian farmers, my friends, that what mistake they should not do now, because they are already number one producers, and they should keep this momentum going. For example, what mistakes? Uh, you see, world over, we should learn from uh, the introduction of Venami in Asia, how the rise and fall of uh, some some countries like Thailand. Okay. Thailand went very up, up to six and a half lakh ton, but now. Then there is a downfall because of overproductions, uh, there are issues in DCs and all. So Ecuador was uh, done such a wonderful thing. Uh, they have such a huge ponds. They improved very good in feed management, pond management, and now they are producing one million ton. Why I'm saying warning to them? Because if they produce more, more and more, okay. there is a mother nature and the carrying capacity. And once you cross that, then there will be a stress condition and then there will be a lot of disease will be invited and then there will be a big failure for farmers in Ecuador because Ecuador you have very big ponds, 5 hectare to 50 hectare and we're looking into a disease control through biosecurity measures will be highly, highly challenging for Ecuador. Is necessary a sustainable production in Ecuador? Of course, because if you see, uh, when I came in Ecuador in 2013, Ecuador was hardly producing 200, 300 kilo per hectare. Now Ecuador is producing 3.5 to 4 ton, 20 times more production in the same system. So this is going to uh, also pile up a lot of organic load. Organic load means this earlier you used to use only 100,000 tons of feed to produce 60,000 tons. But now you're using almost 1.5 million tons of feed. So all these organic loads will slowly, slowly attract pathogens. They are bad bacteria, bad virus will the system. Then it is very difficult for farmers to overcome the disease challenges. So we, the, the business is open to sky. So I think my message to farmers is that control the production, which is beneficial for the industry. Because Ecuador is a very small country. Your entire production is depend upon the exports. So, okay. so if you are producing more, then you are supplying more than the demand. So there will be no good price and the entire value chain in Ecuador will face problems. What is the most important recommendation in Aqua Expo? I have come here in Aqua Expo uh, with my topic, what Ecuador should, should farmers should not do. That means I have a single message, not produce more, compromising the natural carrying capacity of the system. Produce how much your ponds can support naturally. If, and, don't, and keep the immunomodulation of the shrimp very healthy. If you don't stress, your, your immunity will be very good. Same thing in pond. If you don't stress the pond, you don't stress the productivity, the shrimps will be healthy and they will easily defeat the disease. If they are stressed, then disease will defeat them. Madok, the last question. Uh, what is your opinion about Aqua Expo? Oh this my year? God. Aqua Expo, CNA, I think you people are doing a fantastic job. I am coming to Aqua Expo from last 10 years in Ecuador. I have seen every time there is a, such an improvement. And I'm very proud to say I have been world over uh, invited as a speaker and visited many platforms. But I think this is one of the biggest attractions because There is an expo and there is a conference and which runs 
super successfully simultaneously i think this thing never happens in any part of the other world where there is expo and conferences both are super hit people are very disciplined you guys are doing superb work flawless i think the arrangement the decorations uh, the speaker selections the topic given to them the food the parties and the atmosphere is fantastic i i love coming here okay thank you so much thank you so much for having me here and inviting me and i wish uh, entire uh, aqua industry in guayaquil uh, or the ecuador all the best and you people have shaken the world uh, you are number one producer in the world and keep doing that god bless you all thank you thank you so much con esto concluimos la entrevista con Manok Sharma conferencista internacional aqua expo nosotros estaremos en contacto en una próxima oportunidad